Can you see it? Can you see it? <laughs> Well, welcome back to the shop. Uh, first video of the day, and we're gonna do the ATST, uh, which is as the sprocket turns. I can't remember, I think it was Andy who gave me, or was it Chip or someone? I think it was Chip actually, um, who came up with this idea. I'd nick to clean off him. Uh, thanks, Chip. Um, but in this video series, this is where I'm giving the series a name. There'll be a little icon in the corner, we'll make a big thing of it, or whatever. But this is where we talk about bullshit. So, uh, in a sense, the pre-runner to all this was this shite. Uh, I've already done the valve video, the valve tip. I might put the sprocket turns icon on that thumbnail. But, what I want to talk about, I'll see if I can find the video. If I can't find the video, because there are adverts and all this shit, then shit happens. But let me just actually, no fuck it, let me have a look on my phone. Found the bastards. Right, so this is, there's probably more, but there's a company called Data Lock. What do they call it? Data, data, oh no, oh, fucking dickhead. Get it right, Jesus Christ. <laughs> no! It's right in front of my fucking phone. Data tool. What do they call it, the croc lock? Throttle and front brake lock. The croc lock. Crocker shit. There's an advert. I saw an advert, right? Features. Highly visible theft deterrent suitable for motorbikes, scooters and ATVs. Supply with two clees. Glass reinforced plastic construction. What? Additional insert supply for large diamond handlebars and grips. Three colour options. Yellow, black. Uh, 20 months warranty. If you've got one, go and get your warranty back. Triumph, what's it say? It's just got Triumph, CCM motorcycles and Norton motorcycles. What about them? Security marketing. Oh, that's actually marking. Um, ride, what's that one? Ride. That's the fucker I saw. It's on, it's called the Trot, no, the Throt Lock. Handlebar, colour of choice. What's that one? The, that's probably a Chinese one, isn't it? The Quillu. Lock handlebar bullshit. Whatever you do, do not fucking buy these. I'm being serious. Do not buy these. They're a fucking bullshit. If you don't know what they are, some are made out of aluminium, plastic. <laughs> what they are is you have your handlebar there, like so, you know, you have your grip. Where's my fucking shitty grips on? Let's do a demo, let's do a demo. Yes, let's do a demo. Fucking hell, he's a knackered. Here we go, look. We had a demo. <laughs> so, so. Yeah. You have your handlebars. This is off the old, these are the old AR5 bars. You have your handlebars, you have your your grip like that, and basically it's just a lock, a clamshell lock, that goes on and locks both of them. There's a massive problem with this, because it's meant to go on your throttle and your brake, right? And the video I saw, that just popped up, it wasn't, you know, on the feed, or whatever, on Facebook. It popped up on Facebook, showing you a demo, because it's auto-run. You know, that like fucking shit videos work on Facebook. It's connected to this. This is the problem. This, it's a brake line, right? The whole point is, 
is that it pulls your brake, applying your brakes, and then it locks your bike. Now, there are going to be people commenting going, it's also putting strain on your brake pads. Fuck that. I'm not bothered about that. Who gives a shit if it's putting strain on anything? They had it hooked up in the video to a fucking Harley Davidson, a brand new one, which is probably $20,000, if not fucking more. And the whole point is, is you pull your brake and so your brake is engaged, and then the whole thing goes like this, right? Now you might think, oh, there might be some sneaky way of undoing it. Yes, there fucking is. And it's not sliding it off the end, it's cutting the brake lines. Now you might think, yeah, but if you cut the brake lines, you're gonna piss brake fluid. They're trying to nick your $25,000 fucking Harley Davidson. How hard is it to replace a brake line? That's your deterrent. Fuck it, the rubbish. Don't bother. You got a scooter, anything. Don't fucking bother. You just cut your brake lines. You see, the thing is, is if you have a massive fucking dickhead chain around a lamppost and around your rear wheel, they are going to have to remove your rear wheel or the lamppost, right? It's not easily done. Or cut the chain. Again, not easily done. You are, if you're an angle grinder, it's take your pick. You know what I mean? Well, you'd pick the lamppost last, obviously. But, as soon as you do that, the bike is destroyed. You've just chopped a wheel in half. You have to buy a new wheel. Wheels are expensive. You know what I mean? Brake lines. People are like, you know, a fucking hell kit. A hell kit. Brake line kit. It's fucking braided brake lines. Fucking 30, 40 quid. That's nothing. If you're going to choose, uh, Nick, a 20 grand motorcycle. Now, people say, well, honestly, you've got a chain you want this as added security. Why are you wasting your fucking money? Get yourself either decent security or just don't bother. You know what I mean? These are a waste of money. They are making you think that they are secure when they are not. You know what I mean? People might say, yeah, well, you've got your steering lock. This just stops them moving it. Well, what they're going to do? Fucking nick it and just roll around in circles? People are going to say, oh, snap your steering lock. On peds, it's piss easy. Try and do it on a motorcycle. Fuck me, they are rude. <laughs> They are strong, you know what I mean? And yeah, yeah, just just don't buy them. Any of them, any of these fuckers. Data tool makes the croc lock, croc a shit more like. Um, ride make the throttle, I can see now, it's the throttle lock, the throttle lock. Don't fucking get that either. Again, that's a fucking waste of money. Whoever makes them. People are gonna send me loads of links now of all the different types. Don't bother, they are stupid. You know what I mean? It's like the little locks that go on your discs. You're going to have to remove the entire caliper, or you're going to have to remove the entire disc. To get the disc off, you're going to have to remove the wheel. It's a pain in the ass. It's a small, cheap lock. It's very hard to attack unless you can pick fucking um, tumbler, you know, um, them locks. I watch Bosnia Bill all the time, but I can't remember what they're fucking called now. Tum not tumbler locks. The bloody D-lock locks, the round circular ones with the keyword. Hey, Rose. <laughs> yes, so that's as the sprocket turns. Do not buy this shit. Something stinks. It smells like acid, which worries me because I've got a lot. <laughs> Any road. Oh, that makes sense. I've seen a bit.